And the cars have headed uh, to the grid then, ahead of this 20-minute uh, race for round four of the championship for the MX-5 Super Cup. These cars for Mazda MX-5 Mark III's and another full grid of cars we have. And this is how they will line up. On the front row, Sam Smith and Michael Nibbs. On row two, Patrick Fletcher and Declan Lee. Row three for Jack Harden and Richard Amos with Jack, um, James Cousins and John Langridge on row four. The fifth row sees Adam Bessel and Nick Rutter. On row six, Luke Whitworth and Simon Fleet. On row seven, Simon Baldwin and Kelvin uh, Sylvain. On row eight, Martin Tolley and Clive Powells. Row nine sees Will Blackwell Chambers and Tom Smith. With on row ten, Tom Seldon and Martin Canning. Row 11 for Braden Fletcher and Martin Heath. And on row 12, Chris Richardson and George Grant. On the 13th row, Lee Britton and Alex Miller with James Warrior and Seamus Heaney on row 14. Stephen New and Will Wright on row 15 with Bruce Robinson and Nick Dunn on row number 16. On the 17th row, Clive Chisnell and Marcus Colton. On row 18, Alex Jones and Xavier Brook. Row 19 for Liz Walton and Andrew Flynn. And completing the 40-car grid on row 20, Matt Pickford and Duncan Harris. So another full grid of Mazda MX-5s here at Silverstone. It should be another epic race uh, for these newer cars, the Mark III Mazda MX-5s. The championship has had three races at Croft. Two of the races were won by Patrick Fletcher, and he is the championship leader by just a single point over Jack Harden, who got a three podiums, a couple of second places there at Croft. Sam Smith last year's champion third, uh, just a further th uh, four points back on 290. Uh, James Cousins on 281 in fourth and he was the third winner at Croft in the partially reverse grid race. So the cars head their way around this Silverstone uh, national circuit then. So more slipstream in action uh, is expected on this slightly drying circuit. It's not wet out there, it's not dry, it's uh, quite tricky conditions but it's not uh, sl slowing down or not. Uh, making the race in any less exciting that's for sure that time's perhaps a few seconds off but that's uh, that's all we've got to worry about uh, and the racing has been side by side all the way through uh, the morning already and i don't expect it to be uh, really any different uh, here in the mx5 super cup uh, opening race of the day three races for these cars as well and here they come then to the grid with the champion from last year, Sam Smith, uh, on pole position. With Michael Nibbs alongside him. Oh, uh, he should be there. I'm not quite sure where Michael Nibbs is. He should uh, be alongside him after qualifying second yesterday. Uh, he was out in the MX-5 Championship earlier, but it appears there's just one car on the front row of the grid. Uh, yeah, Sam Smith uh, on pole then, the car, uh, car number one. Uh, on the second row, we've got Patrick Fletcher, the championship leader, the former Clio champion who switched to the MX-5 Super Cup a couple of years ago, learning rear-wheel drive uh, racing, and he's got the grips, uh, the grips of it now after taking those two wins at Croft. And alongside him is Declan Lee, a great qualifying from him. He's uh, 11th in the championship. Jack Harden on row three. Uh, the second place man in the championship starts fifth alongside Richard Amos, the uh, club, the best of the club uh, drivers. Uh, he's third within that championship, uh, but uh, it's going to be an entertaining race, that's for sure. And the race gets underway then to 20 minutes of racing, gets underway. There's cars darting out of uh, some slower starters as they make their way down towards Cox Corner. It's the pole man, the only car that started in the front row, Sam Smith, that turns into Cox first. So it appears we haven't got Michael Nibbs in the race, which might mean one of the reserves get into it. 41 around the outside at Cox, a good bold move there from Tom Smith uh, to perhaps gain a place. But it is Smith that leads from Patrick Fletcher in second, a third, a great start from the the club driver Richard Amos who comes down the inside of Fletcher into Beckett's and he may well gain second place and it's very busy in the mid pack there's contact and car number seven gets knocked round which is Alex Miller so he gets uh, spat into a spin but he should be able to continue uh, so Alex Miller gets back on the road but at the back of this 40 car grid 
So it's car one that leads. That's Sam Smith. Richard Amos did get into second. Uh, what a start to his race. Uh, there's the rest of the field flow their way down the Wellington straight into Brooklyn. One car there uh, locks up a touch, but I don't think it's going to cause too much of a drama. There's car number 90 uh, heading through short. That's Bruce Robinson. As the cars work their way out of the complex, a big slide for the leader. Sam Smith gets it all crossed up, but that's not too much of an issue for him. There's a couple of others uh, having some moments uh, in there, which appears to be 82 Michael Nibs. So for whatever reason, uh, or was it si no, 62, apologies, it was 62, not 82. So that's Kevin uh, Sylvain. It was very sideways in the middle there. Anyway, here come the uh, cars a bit further up. Five, John Language just behind... Uh, Jack Harden. Jack Harden didn't make a good start. He's seventh. Um, it's Tom Smith that leads. Second, Richard Amos. Third, Patrick Fletcher. Fourth, James Cousins. Uh, fifth, Declan Lee. Sixth is Adam Bessel. Seventh, Jack Harden. Eighth, John Language. Ninth is Luke Whitworth. And then into tenth position has come Braden Fletcher. And Braden Fletcher started back on the eleventh row of the grid. So what a start it has been from the uh, uh, car number ten. Braden Fletcher really uh, made a good start there. So here come the leaders. The lead gap has diminished and going for the lead is Richard Amos now down the inside in towards Brooklyn's corner. Uh, in the middle here we've got car number two, that's Simon Baldwin with up the inside behind him of Kevin Sylvain, car number 18, Will Blackwell Chambers, uh, former champion I think in the Mark 1s, a spin for car number 50, right in the middle of the road is Lee Britton. Uh, everyone's avoided him so far. And Richard Amos's challenge for the lead didn't work out at all well for him because he's lost second to Patrick Fletcher and he's lost third to James Cousins, who's right now on the tail of uh, Fletcher heading through Woodcote Corner. But now Sam Smith, he's got a one second advantage uh, with that battling going on further uh, behind him. Fletcher's got Cousins trying to come down the inside, who gets a bit crossed up, but doesn't uh, too bad for him. 55's had an off. Uh, that's Simon Fleet who gets back on the road in the MCR run car. Here come the leaders though, down to Beckett. Can they slipstream back towards Sam Smith, who takes a different line to the chaser, Patrick Fletcher. James Cousins in third. He's got the fastest lap, a 75.86, so that's some seven seconds away from a dry qualifying lap time. Uh, Fourth is Richard Amos, fifth is Adam Bessel, sixth Declan Lee, seventh is Jack Harden, eighth is John Language, ninth Luke Whitworth and tenth is Braden Fletcher. Down towards uh, Brooklyn's they come, lap number three of this 20 minute race. There's car number six, which is Richard Amos, who's uh, had such a good start to this race. It looks like Sam Smith's lead has diminished somewhat. Patrick Fletcher's catching, using the toe in what look like conditions are worsening out there uh, here at Silverstone. In fact, a drizzle uh, has uh, returned. Uh, well, we had this morning as well. There's car number 10. That is Braden Fletcher who made such a good start. Patrick Fletcher absolutely flying though up to the back of Sam Smith heading down towards Cops Corner. He just set the fastest lap of the race a 75.640 for Fletcher bringing the lead gap down to two temps. There's the Paddock Motorsport car though of Braden Fletcher who's in P10. Uh, younger brother or British GT racer, uh, Kev, um, Kelvin Fletcher. Here come the leaders, though, down towards Beckett's corner. And it's just one long line of cars once again, uh, as we've come to expect all day long already uh, from the Bureau CC races. And it's just going to continue all the way through the day. Do stay with us on this Bureau CC live streamed event. It's... Uh, proved to be great so far and there's no reason why it should let up. Here come the leaders then down towards uh, Brooklyn. So I say the leaders, it's almost everybody isn't it? Uh, in one long group. The MX-5 Super Cup, such a competitive championship. Uh, certainly uh, by, uh, most people reckoning it's uh, the most competitive club racing championship there is and it's uh, shown here with no gaps really emerging despite these tricky conditions. A big slide uh, from most of them out of Luffield. Initially it was James Cousins that got sideways so I think in in the end it was the leader Sam Smith that was out over the curves that got there he crossed up everybody with window wipers on now so I think the rain is coming back down here and for the lead it's absolutely together down towards Cops Corner Sam Smith under pressure not much from Patrick Fletcher but James Cousins was right in there as well as they turn their way then through uh, Cops Corner and down towards Beckett's then who's going to arrive at Beckett's or Maggots and Beckett's first will it still be Sam Smith or will it be somebody else 
It is just about Sam Smith, but Patrick Fletcher's looking to the outside. To the inside, James Cousins. So Fletcher could lose a place here, but he's found the grip on the outside line, and he's been able to accelerate off the corner better, but he's had to use a lot of road because Sam Smith isn't allowed him much, but he's done it. Patrick Fletcher's gone round the outside, so Patch leads as they make their way down the Wellington Strait for the fifth time of this 20-minute race. We've had six minutes of it, 14 still to go. Sam Smith gets back in the toe, back in the slip train, trying to get back alongside. Patrick Fletcher couldn't manage it, though. Behind him, Richard Amos is up the inside of James Cousins in fifth position there Adam Bessel is buying himself into this battle as well through Luffield now with new race leader Patrick Fletcher who uh, had been lapping quicker than Smith was that due to the toe or is he quicker is he able to pull away uh, out into the gravel now goes Richard Amos he's very sideways he's going to lose a couple of positions therefore to Adam Bessel and to Declan Lee who slot up the inside of him Patrick Fletcher leads by half a second as they cross the line. The fastest lap of the race, by the way, he's gone to Simon Baldwin, car number two, a 1 minute 15.538, uh, the driver that's in 11th position. So that, again, shows you how competitive this is. The fastest cars in the race, uh, perhaps thanks to a toe, are a bit further back. There's more cars out over the curbs, absolutely sideways. But now Patrick Fletcher leads. He is breaking away from Sam Smith, who's there in second. Third, James Cousins. For fourth, uh, up the inside comes Declan Lee to try and pass Adam Bessel. There's car 18, which is Will Blackhold Chambers, who's actually passed Simon Baldwin recently to get 10th. Right, out of uh, Beckett's they come. So lots of Ma Mazda MX-5 Mark One graduates in this, but it's actually front-wheel drive racing expert Patrick Fletcher that leads the way. Um, the championship leader, of course, he is as well, and he's uh, closest rival in the championship. Uh, Jack Harden there, 43, is down in seventh position, but trying to gain places as they turn their way through Brooklands. Richard Amos fighting hard uh, with Declan Lee in front of him. Declan Lee takes the title line at Luffield uh, for the lead, though. What's happened to Patrick Fletcher's lead? Well, he's lost the lead. Sam Smith's got through around the outside at Luffield. He was pulling away, but uh, the toe, perhaps a mistake, uh, didn't help Fletcher there. You can see rain's lots on the camera lens now as well. So it is getting wetter here at Silverstone. Um, but the battle for the lead is just as close as they've got 12 minutes of the race to go. The top 13 cars are only separated by five seconds still. And it's Sam Smith that re-takes uh, the lead then from Patrick Fletcher in third James Cousins in fourth Adam Bessel, fifth Richard Amos, sixth is Declan Lee, seventh Jack Harden, eighth is John Langridge, ninth Braden Fletcher, tenth Will Blackwell Chambers. Into Beckett, back up the inside for the lead comes Patrick Fletcher trying to get himself back alongside Sam Smith, but that didn't work out for him. Adam Bessel's trying to get third alongside James Cousins. He tries to draw himself and actually both of them have got onto terms with Patrick Fletcher whose inside line at Beckett did not work at all well for him. So Sam Smith leads, but who's second this time? Well, Fletcher's lost it to 24, James Cousins, the uh, third race winner from Croft last month. Uh, some cars running a bit wide at Brooklands. That's not going to help their efforts. See, Sam Smith takes a very wide line at Luffield, which should give him a better exit to the corner. And he's still ahead then, therefore, of James Cousins, who's out over the curbs, and the curbs are very slippery here in these conditions. And that chucks the car sideways, loses him momentum, and allows Patrick Fletcher to, to uh, re-challenge, heading down towards Cops Corner. He's on the inside line here as they head into the uh, first corner of the Silverstone National uh, layout. Uh, so uh, some changes behind because Jack Harding's got himself into sixth ahead of Declan Lee and Braden Fletcher's got himself ahead of John Langridge into eighth. Just outside the top ten but in the lead group is Simon Baldwin, Luke Whitworth and Kelvin uh, Sylvain. Down towards uh, Beckett's corner come the uh, leaders and I think it's still Sam Smith that heads the way it is ahead of uh, James Cousins who's there in second position. Fletcher and uh, Bessel and Amos all battling out for third. Of course, set up important here, and as conditions have changed really from the beginning of the race, uh, we might see some people progress and some people fall. And for third place, Adam Bessel is on the inside line of Patrick Fletcher, and to the inside of both of them comes Richard Amos here in car six. Uh, third goes the way of Bessel, so he's up into P3. Patrick Fletcher tries to fight back, he dives up the inside uh, of Bessel's car through Luffield. Uh, doesn't work for him, he's very, very sideways, and again, uh, Richard Amos is out in the ground, he gets a big slide on, and Jack Harden has to take uh, aggressive uh, moves to the right hand side of the circuit to avoid the sideways car. He did so, and he's uh, got the position now. Now he's on to the back of his championship rival Patrick Fletcher but all of a sudden they were well spread out earlier but they're back together now 
uh, in fourth and fifth position. So the new order is Sam Smith from James Cousins, uh, Adam Bessel, Patrick Fletcher, Jack Hardin, Richard Amos, Declan Lee, Braden Fletcher, John Language and Will Blackwell Chambers. Down towards Maggots and Beckett's they come. And then now taking this wider line, a similar line to what the Formula 4 drivers were doing in the previous race. Richard Amos loses another place there to Declan Lee. So car 12 passes car 6 into Beckett's. Up the inside went uh, Lee, but uh, we've seen drivers do that before. And then they've lost time down the Wellington Strait. For the lead, it's still Sam Smith from James Cousins, from uh, Adam Bessel, from Patrick Patrick Fletcher, they turn into Brooklands. And wide goes the leader, Sam Smith goes very, very wide, whether that was intentional or not, I'm not sure. Now Adam Bessel comes up the inside, which initially gets him ahead of James Cousins, but then the outside line should have more grip. And is that going to allow Cousins to hang on? It does. So these very different lines you can take around these corners end up with probably a similar lap time, but it means you get lots of side-by-side -side racing. We're into the second half of the race now. We've got completed nine laps. It's just over eight minutes to go. Uh, the conditions continue to worsen, as you can see. More spray being kicked up by these Mazda MX-5 cars. Uh, but the leading 10 cars are still separated by just three seconds. There they all are, absolutely together, with Will Blackwell Chambers at the back of them. Uh, the three cars that kind of dropped away are Simon Baldwin, Luke Whitworth and Kelvin, um, Kevin Sylvain. Down into Beckett's. Uh, Will Blackwell Chambers comes up the inside of John Langridge. He can't quite make it. Two drivers uh, battled for a Mark One championship a few seasons ago. Down the Wellington straight they go then. Let's have a look at some of the uh, cars a bit further down. 55 there. That's uh, Simon Fleet, who's recovering after an off earlier. He's in 30th. You can see battles though all the way through the field in the BRSCC Master MX-5 Championship. Wherever you are, you have somebody to race against. It's absolutely brilliant. Uh, into Luffield, free of Brest almost for second place because Patrick Fletcher was going up the inside of Adam Bessel who was going up the inside of James Cousins. Uh, in the end, ne none of them gain a place, but Fletcher might lose one here to Richard Amos who's already passed Jack Hardin at the beginning of this lap. He's now passed uh, Patrick Fletcher too. So the driver that runs in the club class, Richard Amos, is having an epic race here at Silverstone and he might gain more positions down towards Cops Corner because uh, Cousins and Bessel sort of were holding each other up. Bessel sideways on the apex or the entry to uh, Cops Corner on the outside line he's gone wide now uh, so that could give Richard Amos third who's just set the fastest up of the race a 75.241 but it's Sam Smith that still leads as they come down towards Beckett with this uh, big group of cars behind him second is Cousins third is Bessel kinder still just ahead of Richard Amos and then Patrick Fletcher's dropped to fifth uh, with sixth position Declan Lee so two championship uh, Leaders Patrick Fletcher and Jack Hardin not ending up having a great race here, which could catapult Sam Smith into the championship lead if he hangs on to the uh, lead of the race, which he currently has by about half a second. For what's that? Third, it's three abreast with Declan Lee on the inside line. Uh, trying to get alongside not just Richard Amos but Adam Bessel too. You've got Fletcher and Hardin and Blackwell Chambers all trying to find a position out of this as well. For the lead it's still Sam Smith and James Cousins. For third it's Adam Bessel. Uh, Will on the gravel there put the car up number 12 sideways Declan Lee and Jack Hardin passes Patrick Fletcher. So Jack Hardin gets his head of Fletcher then but then he gets squeezed out uh, over the curves by Declan Lee as they head down towards Cops Corner being urged on by the teams on the pit wall. And uh, Declan leads back on the inside of Jack Harden, who gets tagged by Patrick Fletcher. Then that was intentional as they all battling for positions. They got away with it, luckily. Um, so Jack Harden managed to hold uh, that bit of a slide he was knocked into. So it's uh, Smith from Cousins from uh, Bessel for fourth. It's uh, up the inside for Richard Amos, who's uh, been actually passed by Declan Lee, who's already passed Jack Harden at the beginning of the lap. Right, onto the Wellington Strait. We've got five minutes to go. So we've had three quarters of the race. It's all still to be settled, though. Sam Smith has been able to keep this margin over James Cousins over the last couple of laps. What's happened at the back of the group? Well, uh, Jack Harding's right on the bumper there of Richard Amos. And down the inside of them comes Will Blackwell Chambers, who's gaining positions. Uh, and Braden Fletcher as well. Braden Fletcher has uh, caned out of all of that as well. But then on the outside line at Luffield, it may not work out for him in the end. Oh, and uh, again, that's 12 Declan Lee sideways 
Bowers out over the curves and on the gravel as well. Uh, Will Batwell Chambers too, so he's lost any time, uh, any positions he gained. 12 laps completed with Sam Smith leading from James Cousins, from Adam Bessel, uh, Declan Lee, Richard Amos, Jack Harding, Patrick Fletcher, John Langridge, Braden Fletcher, Will Blackwell Chambers, Simon Baldwin, Kevin Sylvain and Luke Whitworth. 13 cars separated by six seconds. They're a long way ahead of the rest. The rest is headed, by the way, by 41 Tom Smith. Leader Sam Smith. Uh, sees a new car in his mirror because Adam Bessel has got himself ahead of James Cousins into second place and Cousins might lose another place here because Richard Amos comes up the inside of him in car number six so Amos up to third now as they come out of Beckett's corner once again there isn't a corner where a position doesn't change uh, what a motor race this is uh, all three of the races to start the day have been and it's car number one then Sam Smith that leads down to Brooklyn Jack Harding goes to the, the full left hand side of the circuit to try and gain positions and he may well do so. A, a real loser on this lap has been 24 James Cousins who was second at the beginning of the lap and he gets a, a bit of a touch there I think with Declan Lee and they're both passed by Jack Harding. Car number 43 then Jack Harding uh, gains, his, gains positions out of all of that. The Luke Herbert racing run car. He's up to fourth. He was sixth at the beginning of the lap. There he is 43. Uh, John Langridge has gained positions two on this lap, car number five, as they come up across the line. Then Sam Smith is a second ahead of the rest now, which is a big lead in today's terms. There's a Langridge who gets himself ahead of Patrick Fletcher into seventh position. Langridge in the Blink Motorsport car. Patrick Fletcher, a family run car in P8. There's Sam Smith then, a lead in Adam Bessel who's under pressure from Richard Amos who dives up the inside into Beckett's corner there's Langridge and Fletcher still side by side but what's happened for second Amos hasn't done it I don't think I think he's run out wide which has allowed Adam Bessel back through and he's put in Jack Harding in a good spot for Brooklyn I think so Jack Harding who's sort of been at the back of this group for most of the race has worked his way onto the podium now he's into third but Richard Amos isn't done with him he's back on the inside line into Brooklyn's is sideways he slides a bit wide which could give Declan Lee a chance I think they just touch a bit there but that's not really a too uh, dramatic for them they're both trying to get back alongside Jack Harden who is hanging on to P3 there's two laps of this race to go this is the end of lap 14 it should be a 16 uh, lap race for the Mazda MX-5 Super Cup first of three races for these drivers today the teams again urge the drivers on uh, to try and gain positions up front though Sam Smith looks good here he's got a 1.4 second advantage over Adam Bessel there's championship leader Patrick Fletcher. I don't think he's going to be the championship leader though after this race. It's not gone particularly to plan. There might as well be some lap traffic to deal with right at the end for the leader Sam Smith. Bessel is second, third is Harding, fourth coming up the inside of him is Declan Lee. And is that going to work for him? They come wheel to wheel out the corner though he didn't get the traction. The outside line is where there is more grip, but of course you've got to go a much longer way around the corner, which allows other people to challenge on the apex of the corner, but then you have the better run out of it. Down to Brooklands, Bessel in second, being caught now by Hardin. Uh, Jack Harding looks like he could get a good result out of this. Out of this. There's John Langridge, who runs in fifth now, I think, because he's got himself... Uh, upper position has he we'll check that at the end of the lap he was trying to get himself ahead of Richard Amos though. but there's the leader then Sam Smith out of Woodcote corner he gets the last lap board so onto the last lap they go fastest lap just goes to Richard Amos he's got himself ahead of Declan Lee for four 74.988 uh, John Language didn't gain a position in the end so through cops they go so Smith's lead starting to come down a bit. We've got one off into the gravel. That's the car that was the best of the rest, kind of. 14th position, Tom Smith is going to lose a whole heap of positions having to dig his way out the gravel. Here come the leaders into Beckett for the final time. And it is Sam Smith then that leads. He's just about got a big enough lead, I think, not to come under threat. Of course, that back marker traffic could be uh, playing on his mind. Um, and they're battling of course as well they may get away with not catching them so it's been a good drive from Sam Smith he did lose the lead at one point uh, but he got back through and he's leading into Brooklyn to a much smaller gap to Adam Bessel so they turn their way into Luffield for third I think Jack Harding's hanging on ahead of Richard Amos who's behind the stars of the race 
Uh, they have caught actually those two cards, so Sam Smith just got to negotiate his way through them at uh, Woodcote Corner, but he's going to take the win. So the first uh, win of the season for the defending champion, Sam Smith takes the chequered flag. He's winning gap in the end with only half a second over Adam Bessel. Third went to Jack Harding, fourth to Richard Amos, fifth to Declan Lee, who got the fastest lap on the last lap, sixth for John Langridge, seventh for Patrick Fletcher, who was the championship leader, uh, eighth for James Cousins, who was second for so long in that race, ninth for uh, Simon Baldwin, tenth for Braden Fletcher, eleventh for Blackwell Chambers, uh, twelfth for Kevin Sylvain, and thirteenth for Luke Whitworth. What a great race that was again, and Sam Smith makes it three different winners in four races in the BRCC Mazda MX-5 Championship. We've got two more of those races to look forward to over the rest of the day. Let's take a look at how another dramatic race went with some highlights. So they got away with Sam Smith by himself on the front row, remember. Michael Nibs, who qualified on row one, didn't get to start. So they turn their way into Beckett. There was contact on lap one. I think it was Tom Smith who uh, put Alex Miller into a spin. Well, Blackwell Chambers was involved in uh, the lead battle, but a spin we also had on lap one for Lee Britton, so he had to come back through the field. Patrick Fletcher went round the outside of Sam Smith and took the lead initially, but was re-passed by him. And then it all went a bit wrong from then on as the rain came down for Fletcher. He started sliding down positions. James Cousins came into second ahead of Adam Bessel at this point. Smith was able, though, just to get away as those uh, battled behind. Jack Hardin and Patrick Fletcher were rubbing paddles there as Jack Hardin started to progress while Patrick Fletcher slid back down the order. So they come out of uh, Beckett's, they were batting away. We had a uh, off-track moment for Tom Smith towards the end, but it was Sam Smith that took the race win in a great uh, motor race, and we should look forward to uh, further MX-5 Super Cup races uh, today. But Sam Smith, Adam Bessel and Jack Hardin were the drivers that finished on the podium. So there you go, another typical MX-5 Super Cup race, a brilliant way to start their day's racing here at Silverstone in increasingly dampening conditions, but say to someone who hasn't had his spirits dampened at all is defending champion Sam Smith. He did say at Croft he was looking for a bit more pace. He took three podiums over that weekend and he was able to come away with a victory here. And that's exactly what he needed to keep himself in contention for the title in this early stage. Good finish for Adam Bezel in second place. And third, of course, for Jack Harding, who continues his 100% uh, podium streak. You can see him on camera there just having a chat with uh, Luke Herbert. You never know they used to be rivals on track, did you? But of course, they're now, let's be best of friends now as teammates when uh, they change over just later at the start of the season. Let's Let's, um, let's bring our race winner over, of course, Sam Smith, defending champion, and he's going to put his winner's cap on, have a chat. Well, Sam, we said at Croft that you said at Croft you need to find some more pace. You definitely found it, didn't you? Yeah, so far I've had a good weekend. That was um, that was really hard. I mean, I didn't know even where to be on the track, so I was kind of playing it by ear, and obviously the people behind have the opportunity to go where I don't and see if they can find the advantage, but um, I was really happy with my performance, and I've had a good weekend. Uh, we had some issues at Croft, which we've ironed out. Um, we actually were running quite far down on power without even realising so it's the whole the whole weekend the cars just felt more alive so um, yeah we've done a good job the whole team's done a great job so uh, two more races to go this isn't going to be easy no because it was dry yesterday for qualifying so what tweaks do you kind of have to make as a default when it gets a bit slippery like this I don't really know if I'm honest um, I just sort of sit in it and drive it and let Brian and BC cars do all the hard work for me and then I suppose I've got an excuse if it's no good but no. Th those conditions I'm notoriously poor in anyway so if I'm quick in the wet then it's a good sign that everything's working well and the, the team's done a good job as you say two more races so you've got to go do it twice now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm happy to go over <laughs> that, if I'm honest. So, yeah, but no, good job and great job for the team and well done to Adam, Jack and uh, I think um, my business partner Richard Amos. Nice to see him up there and uh, I can see him in my mirror and I was willing him to do on and trying to concentrate on where I was going as well, but no, good so far. Well done, champ. We'll see you in race two. Thank you very much. Cheers. Uh, let's bring Adam in for second place and uh, Adam, constantly getting better. That's one of your better results that you've had now in the uh, Super Cup, getting improving over the last couple of years and car seems to be doing the trick out there. Yeah, Aiden and the team really sorted the car out this uh, this time, so it's amazing, really. Um, I just couldn't quite catch Sam. He just seemed to be pretty much perfect everywhere. So, um, yeah, he's done a great job, really. 
And of course, how much confidence, because you've made a bit of a team change over the winter, you're now, of course, with Aiden. So, how much of a difference do you think that's made in terms of pace and setup knowledge and everything else that comes with it? Yeah, loads. They know exactly what they're doing. I've got the data from all the other drivers. That was the main reason for the move, really. Um, nothing nothing in MCR or anything, but it was, um, I just wanted the data from everyone else. So, um, yeah, it's been great. Really good. So, another challenge is front row for race two. How do you feel about that? Yeah, yeah, it should be good. <laughs> Looking forward to it. <laughs> good stuff. Well, well done. Go and get yourself ready. We'll see you later on. Uh, and let's bring Jack in for third place. Jack, bring you over. Well, Jack, another podium for your comeback so far. You bracket up those consistent scores. Yeah, no, definitely. After um, yesterday in qualifying, we did an engine on after five laps. So, uh, yeah, so we had to. Luke Herbert Racing did a fantastic job last night changing the engine. We didn't know what the motor was going to be like. It seems okay. We won't know more until we get it in the dry. Um, so obviously we qualified fifth and I think seventh for the next race. So it's, it's not easy because you're in and around people. I'm not used to racing against that. Um, they're all looking for their first podium, all looking for their first win. So it's a little bit hectic if I'm honest. Uh, took a few hits either side, but to bring it home in third, you know, that, that was that was yeah great. Extra points. Patrick finished further back, so me and Sam both took some points out of him. Long way to go in this season. If I can get three solid podiums this weekend, I'll be happy with that. We'll have to leave it there because you've got your next, next race coming up. But well done for another third. We'll see you in race two. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Good stuff.